Hey guys! So today's video is going to be on this makeup tutorial. It's like a taupey, silvery, cool tone look out of my comfort zone a little bit, but I think it's so pretty. It's also really suitable for prom, I feel like. If you're wearing a taupey dress or like a purple dress, this would look really pretty. I like it so much and I hope you do too. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching my friends. So I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids using Max Painterly Paint Pot to get rid of all those veins on my eyelids and to prime them, of course. I'm going to go into this Tarte Tartlet palette right here and on this Zoeva brush, I'm going to dip it into the color Free Spirit and basically what I'm doing is just kind of setting the base I put down so it's not sticky. Then I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to dip a fluffy blending brush into the shade Natural Beauty. This is like a really light mauve purpley gray color so it's perfect as a transition shade. So that's what I'm using it for. I'm just uh, buffing this back and forth into my crease so that all the other eyeshadows that I put down on my lid blend nicely into the crease if that makes sense. Then with a more precise blending brush, it's from Zoeva, but it's just like a MAC 217. I'm going to dip it into the shade Best Friend. This one is a lot more purple. Um, it's basically just like a mid-tone, like matte purple color. Everything in this palette is matte, by the way. And so I'm just applying this to the outer V of my eye and then bringing it into my crease. I'm going to take this Josie Marin watercolor eyeshadow in the shade Playa Del Pink. And I'm going to apply this to my lid using the little sponge tip applicator and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. It's like a really concentrated metallic pigment. So I'm just taking my ring finger and just blending it out. Then for my favorite part, I'm going to take this pigment from Makeup Geek in the shade Nightlife. It's a beautiful like toasty um, like champagne with like a taupey undertone. I don't know. It's really gorgeous on the lid and I'm going to apply this all over my entire lid up to the crease. To intensify that pigment a little bit more, I'm going to take MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray my brush with it and then dip it back into the pigment and this is just really really going to intensify the eyeshadow. It's going to make it more metallic and bring out like the taupey undertone a lot more. And then I got out of the frame a little bit, but basically I just put it in my on my entire lid. You get the gist. Going back into that tart lid palette, I'm going to dip it right back into Best Friend. And I'm going to apply this right into the crease. And I'm using a very, very precise, like, pointy blending brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush. And I really want a lot of the purple to be concentrated into the crease. So that's why I'm using a pencil brush. I'm just taking my time going back and forth and... After I do that, I'm just going to blend everything out so there are no harsh lines. So I'm taking that fluffy blending brush again, this is a Sigma E40, and I'm going to dip it right back into Natural Beauty, and then I'm just going to buff everything out into my crease. I wanted some more purple in my crease, but I didn't want it to look harsh. I'm not, I didn't do a cut crease or anything, I just want everything to look nice and diffused and blown out. Then I'm going to take this shade called Super Mom and this is going to be my highlight. It's like a very like um, light, light, light peachy, pinky kind of color and it makes us a really nice matte highlight under the brow bone. Then I'm going to take this Milani Eye Tech Perfection Liquid Liner in black and I'm going to start doing my wing. The way that I really like to do it is I apply a super, super thin layer as close to my lashes as possible and then I make it thicker as I go. So I just make the base really really thin and then just start you know making the wing thicker but then I get out of the frame as per usual and that went to crack. I'm gonna take this NYX um, gel liner in black the new like Tress Jolie ones they are my favorite black eyeliner from the drugstore as of right now and I love them so I'm just gonna tight line with it and then I'm just gonna go ahead off camera and apply my Ardell whiskey I'm going to finish off, well I'm going to start my face before I finish off my eyes. I'm priming my face using the Makeup Forever HD Primer and then I'm going to go in with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. Usually I would go for like a more full coverage foundation, especially for prom, but my skin was acting super sensitive 
and I wanted something that was like lightweight on my face like I wanted my foundation to be a little bit more lightweight so that's why I'm using my favorite which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum I'm in the shade 52 so I'm just applying that all over my face using a Real Techniques buffing brush and then with a Real Techniques like powder brush I'm gonna go into the Bourjois Healthy Balance powder and I'm just going to powder my face a little bit Staying away from my under eye area specifically because I'm going to go in with concealer next and I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio and on a Real Techniques contour brush I'm applying that underneath my eyes and then I'm just going to blend it out. That sounded weird. Blend it out. Blend it out. Yeah. So I'm just blending that out. <laughs> I also put some on the bridge of my nose and on other parts of my face to highlight with the concealer. I'm going to be setting that with MAC Emphasize Powder. This is a really nice brightening powder and it's good to set your under eyes if you want like a bright under eye effect, which I do, especially for nighttime or going out. I love the under eye to be nice and bright. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm taking a Sigma pencil brush and I'm going to dip it into Natural Beauty. And I'm going to start smudging that on my lower lashes. By the way, I filmed this tutorial literally at 3 o'clock in the morning. So that is why my eyes are so red. I was dead tired. But I really wanted to get this video up for you guys because, you know. I didn't have a video up on Wednesday and I just wanted a video up. But anyway, I dipped that same pencil brush into the shade Best Friend and I'm um, smoking it out even more. Then after that, I'm going to add some of that same eyeliner from NYX to my waterline just to make it nice and deep on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the super dark purple in this palette and it's called Bombshell and I'm going to really smoke it out again with that same pencil brush. And then I just applied some mascara and then I am done with the eyes. So moving on to the face, I am taking my Girl Lactic Bronzer in the shade Cabo. This is my favorite bronzer of all time and I'm using the Real Techniques Multitasking Brush to just bronze up my face. For some reason my bronzer was kind of washed out on camera but like I had like an intense bronzing contour action. You just couldn't really tell that much. But yes, so I'm just contouring kind of and bronzing at the same time. For blush, I'm using this Tarte one um, called Celebrated. It's like one of their new blushes and it is beautiful. I love it. It's a very, very soft pink. I'm not crazy for blush, like in an intense blush look. So this soft pink is so perfect with so many looks. And then I'm going to highlight my face using the Positions Formula, if I could open it. Oh, there you go. Um, shimmer strip in Miami strip my favorite highlighter of all time drugstore high-end it's my favorite and I'm just highlighting with I believe this is Zoeva like tapered highlighter brush and the brush I used to apply my blush was a MAC one like the MAC blush brush but yeah then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look by doing a little lip combo here and my little uh, lip liner broke a little bit this is um, a ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Skimpy and I'm just applying that to my entire lip but then I thought it was way too warm for this look so I'm going in with this NYX high voltage lipstick in the shade Stone it's such a cool unique like beautiful nude because it has a lot of gray to it I don't know it's really really pretty but yeah um, that completes this makeup look thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!